It is important to me too that I remind all who are here of what may be easy to forget. What a beautiful mother you were, energetic, self-confident, and full of joy and life. Together with Abba, you conquered the world, a handsome and impressive couple, so supportive of your children and grandchildren. I'm so sorry that Rachel did not get to meet Abba, nor did, it, did she really get to know you. But what you and I both wished with all our hearts, we received. You were, you were with me at my wedding, you led me to the chuppah, you rejoiced, and you blessed Rachel and myself. Rest in peace, Ima. Be our advocate together with Abba. Though I am the youngest of your sons, there is no need to worry about me so much. Both Hashem, we are doing fine and promise to take care of each other. Thank you for wonderful years and care to no end. Rest in peace, Ima. Rest in peace. It's hard to believe that was eight years ago. And much has happened. We have wonderful children. Yehonatan, Yaakov, named for Abba. Ofri, Bareket, named for Ima. And Lia Ariel continues the line being the eighth generation Jerusalemites. You have been there advocating for us from above this whole time, and we ask that you continue to accompany us as the years <coughs> go by. Avinu Lakenu, our Father, our Lord, may they rest in peace. Chonenu v'anenu, kiyeimah l'masim, aseimah l'tzedakah v'chesed v'oshienu.
play for you now the very last Nigun tune that I played for my father two days before he passed away. And I asked him, what would you like me to play? And he said, I want you to play for me a song which is based on Kohelet. What's the point of our hard work in this world? Mitachat l'shemesh, under the sun, it doesn't really pay off, but beyond the sun, it does. Suddenly, much better. Not ideal, 
but better. And I even remember that one of my brothers said, how can you take her everywhere? She wanted to be with me all the time, to all my meetings, whatever I had. He said, didn't you see what's her situation? I said, I don't know if she wants to come with me. And she came. So I had to bring her sometimes on her wheelchair, but she was willing to come, and I didn't care how it looks like. So she came. And so happened for four times. And I was really hoping that I'll be the one who'll be able to be with her on her very last moment of life. And I didn't. In the last few weeks before she passed away, she started saying once in a while, my father, Yaakov, Jacob, is calling me. Calling me from heaven. And later on when I thought about it, why didn't I, why wasn't I lucky enough to be with her on her last moment? I thought to myself, God wanted her soul to be calm in her last minutes. He didn't want to struggle, attention, while my father is here pulling her there, and I am here pulling her to stay. Attention between heaven and earth. I would like to teach you now a song that's about the soul that my father wrote. The words are from the Sidhu, Elohai Neshama, my soul, God, my soul, Neshama Shana the soul that you gave me. Tehorai, it's pure. Ata velata, ata yetzorta, ata nefrahtabi, you brought it into my body. <coughs> you brought it to me and you will take it away when time comes. You're welcome to try to join me with this song. If you don't remember the words, you can sing with na 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 or la la la, whatever language you sing.
And unfortunately, the father passed away. He was an amateur but decent violinist. And when he passed away, the family gave him this violin. Uh, not as a present, but uh, I, uh, they lent it to me. Um, it's old. <laughs> Yes. The question I'd like to ask is, can you make another concert like this in the near future? <laughs> <laughs> can you do this again in the near future? Can we make another concert? Yes. Yes. And tomorrow? Tomorrow. Soon. <laughs> 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 Thank you. We all have a free text. <laughs> I would like to end this concert <coughs> with a beautiful piece, Hebrew melody, written by Joseph Ahlund.